Hello and welcome once again about Jilly City. As usual, I'm always, always excited to be here and I'm glad you are here. So today I bring you a bit of a good news. It's been so stressful during this pandemic period for everyone. And sometimes it is hard to find a reason to be grateful or to thank God. So that's why when I saw this news at work, I thought, what better news to make us still know that good things still happen from bad situations so yeah i'm going to tell you all about this woman who delivered why she was in induced coma as a result of covid if that is what i know you are interested in keep on watching by the way have you subscribed yeah, if you're watching me and this is your first time or you've been watching and you've not subscribed, come on, go on, click on that red subscribe button below. Yes, that one there. And the notification bell being beside it. Click on all. That way you get notifications for all my uploads and you won't miss a thing. On this channel, we talk about everything, nursing and health plus healthy living, which brings us into food and lifestyle and all of that. I'm sure you will love it. Also consider checking out my other videos. I'm sure you will find it insightful. Thank you very much. Now let's do this. So the whole story goes around this female consultant called Perpetua Uke. This lady, she is a Nigerian lady. She lives in the UK with her family and she is a consultant in one of the big hospitals in the city called Birmingham here in the UK. So a consultant, that means high-ranked doctor she is. And as usual, we know that the pandemic is so hard here. She started feeling unwell and apparently it turned out to be coronavirus, the big CV. And a few days later, she realized that it's not something that she could cope with, that this is a more serious version of it. She was taken to the hospital and in all of this, she was pregnant. Yes, pregnant for a set of twins, as you are seeing on that photo. Yeah, and she went in, not just did she go into the regular ward. Her case was so severe that she was taken into the critical care unit where she was uh, ventilated you know that is like the highest rank of corona infection where a person is put in induced coma in order to help their body cope with the damage that this virus is causing yeah and guess what this woman was pregnant and was in coma every hands were on deck apparently you can imagine looking after a colleague a senior colleague in this state not just is she fighting for herself but she's fighting for these twins she is carrying a few days later they realized that oh my god this lady might not survive it this doctor consultant might not survive this thing and so the best thing was to get these babies out and give them a fighting chance now i work on the neonatal unit and 26 weeks is quite an early preterm there are lots of testimonies however there are so many challenges surrounding it of course, we know the best place for any baby or babies, especially, is the womb before they are mature, before they come to term, before they get to 40 weeks. The best place for them is the womb. However, there are circumstances where the womb becomes unsafe and they have to be brought out. That is the essence of a neonatal unit, a premature unit, where babies born premature or babies born sick are looked after. So the case of this woman got to that and the decision was made by the medical team to get the twins out. So carrying one baby 26 weeks is quite early, but to carry twins 26 weeks is even more risky because ordinary multiple pregnancies are riskier than single pregnancy. So this woman was in induced coma suffering from covid carrying twins yes these beautiful twin babies and what happened so they decided to do a cesarean section do an operation now perpetual didn't have any decision about this because it was a matter of life and death so a decision had to be made on her behalf without her knowing this this cesarean section went successful the babies were brought out placed in an incubator on the neonatal unit and every hands were on deck 
they were transferred to uh, uh, an intensive care unit because apparently like i said earlier 26 weeks premature is quite an early premature and they needed the best care they could get in order to be able to overcome all the challenges that comes with prematurity especially early prematurity as twins now they were there this woman finally woke up from her coma 16 days after 16 days after she woke up from her coma finally when she begins to get her head around motherly instincts kicks in immediately and the first thing she begins to worry about is her baby bump well the news was broken to her but remember this is corona we are talking about so she has to be in isolation she has to still even after she has realized that she's giving birth she still could not see her babies because of course she's suffering from coro not just any kind of coro her case is critical she was isolated from her family so the families could not see her she could not see her family she could not see her newborn babies wow that could have been challenging but the good news here is that this lady survived it not just did she survive this yes perpetual okay survived it she also has with her as i talk with you her two babies they are a boy and a girl hold on i'll get the names Alka. so there's baby girl sochika palma and baby boy osinachi palska to god be the glory that is something to thank god for and that is one news that we all need to hear that in the midst of darkness that there is still light shining that miracles still do happen not only is she with them they have been fully discharged they are at home reunited with her husband matthew perpetua her two other children how good can that feel how happy can that feel so this woman defeated the virus so that's something to celebrate about now so many healthcare professionals are putting themselves on the line so many unsung heroes some passed some survived and are still struggling up till now with the complications that they've come with others were less hit and they have come back again fighting for something that threatened their lives and the life of their family but in the midst of all we celebrate with this family perpetual this consultant perpetual okay and her family for this beautiful beautiful testimony we pray that they will come to full recovery and we also pray for as many are still struggling with the virus as we speak because the hospitals in the uk are still struggling and are still buckled down under this whole virus situation that they will also find a reason to celebrate so let's just celebrate with this family and we pray that as many as we are still health workers and everyone that still go out there every day that the good lord will continue need to keep us all safe as we go out there daily trying to look for our daily bread that is where i'm going to leave it here i hope i gave you a reason to thank god and be grateful in the midst of all of this darkness light is still shining and i pray that that light will continue to shine upon you and i in jesus name if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up share this good news let people find a hope a reason to celebrate in the midst of it and we know that when we celebrate with others celebration comes our way so till i see you next time before i say bye bye please click on that red subscribe button if you've not done so and the notification bell yes thank you so much so you won't miss a thing and consider checking out these videos these my other videos as they are popping up as you are watching yes click on them and go on to watch them hopefully you also find them insightful till i see you next time bye bye from you.